Revealing your weaknesses can be an invitation for others to take advantage or even make your situation worse. Unfortunately, envy and pleasure in seeing others suffer are common behaviors in many people, and this can hinder their personal and professional growth, whether at work, among friends, or even within the family. Therefore, learning not to show your vulnerabilities can become your greatest strength. Think of yourself as a tree during a storm. The leaves may rustle and the branches may sway, but the trunk remains firm, rooted to the ground. We will show you how you can be stronger by not letting external or internal problems affect you so much. Each challenge is a lesson in staying strong and not being easily shaken. By doing this, you are in control of your destiny, steady and calm, even when everything around you seems in chaos. In this video, we will discuss 18 principles of Stoicism, a philosophy taught by Epictetus, a philosopher known to many. Furthermore, we will encourage you to seek self-knowledge, where true strength comes not from noise, but from the silence that lights the way. So, in the next few minutes, dedicate yourself to understanding these concepts, without getting distracted by everyday life. If you are enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video. Your participation helps the community grow and motivates us to bring more valuable information like this. The more we open up about our pain, the more we run the risk of attracting those who enjoy our suffering. Unfortunately, there are people out there who feel good when they see us in bad shape. This behavior, whether out of malice or envy, can really hinder our personal and professional growth. It can be at work, with friends, or even with family. Therefore, there are times when hiding our weaknesses ends up being our greatest strength. If you enjoyed this conversation so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video. This really helps us to continue bringing content like this to you. Think of yourself as a tree standing firm during a storm. The leaves may even flutter and the branches sway, but the trunk remains there, firm, rooted. It is in this way, with silent resistance, that we will become stronger. Let's talk about how not to let problems, whether external or internal, bring you down. See each challenge as a lesson to remain firm and calm, even in the midst of chaos. Now, we focus on the importance of listening more than talking. Imagine that our ability to listen actually surpasses our ability to express. This is no coincidence. By valuing what others have to say, we open doors to valuable learning and different perspectives. So, how about we start giving more space to the voices around us, absorbing more of what we project? Next, facing our fears head-on can be a liberating strategy. Anxiety often comes from fear of what is to come. But when we imagine that these fears have already come true, we may be surprised by our own resilience. Facing the worst-case scenario not only prepares us mentally, but also strengthens our ability to move forward despite adversity. Failure is another crucial point that deserves our attention. Many see failure as a sign of weakness, but in reality, it is one of the greatest teachers we have. Every mistake offers us a precious lesson on how to improve and move forward. Viewing failure as a stepping stone to success is a mindset shift that can completely transform our journey. True wealth is not found in material goods, but in contentment and peace of mind. There is ancient wisdom that tells us that happiness does not come from what we have, but from gratitude for what we have. This is a powerful life lesson, to value our personal achievements and treasures, rather than lamenting what we lack. Satisfaction with what is present in our lives is true wealth. Furthermore, humility is a treasure that allows us to grow and learn infinitely. Recognizing that we don't know everything opens us up to new knowledge and experiences. Living with an open mind, ready to absorb each lesson, turns each day into an opportunity for evolution. Embracing our ignorance as the first step to knowledge is the path to a life full of learning and discovery. What about guilt? Seeing it as a plague is essential for our mental health. Guilt often traps us in a cycle of negativity, preventing us from moving forward. Understanding that responsibility for our actions should not turn into self-flagellation is liberating. Recognizing our mistakes without letting ourselves be defined by them allows for healthy and constructive growth. Establishing alliances with people who inspire and uplift us is fundamental. Have you noticed how our energies are affected by the people around us? There are individuals who fill us with energy and others who seem to drain our vitality. Choosing carefully who we share our time with can transform our life experience. Surrounding yourself with positive and motivating people not only pushes us to be better, but also helps us maintain an optimistic outlook when faced with challenges. Furthermore, recognizing that our reactions to events shape our destiny is a powerful principle. We can't control everything that happens to us, but we have complete control over how we respond. Facing adversities with resilience and learning from them strengthens us and prepares us for future obstacles. It is our attitude towards life that defines our path, not isolated events. 
Fulfilling our duties and responsibilities is also an act of integrity and commitment. Just as nature follows its course without expecting recognition, we must do what we do with dedication and zeal. Acting responsibly, knowing that our actions impact others and the world around us, is what defines us as conscious and mature beings. The inevitability of death and the value of living a meaningful life. Although it may seem bleak at first, recognizing that death is the final destination for us all serves as a powerful reminder to live our lives to the fullest. This doesn't mean being obsessed with the idea of dying, but rather using this knowledge as fuel to appreciate every moment, pursue our passions and not let opportunities pass us by. By being aware of our mortality, we can be inspired to make choices that lead to a full and experiential life, knowing that each day is a gift that should not be wasted. Furthermore, the notion that true wealth resides in a contented spirit calls us to reevaluate what we value. In a world that often measures success in material terms, this perspective encourages us to find satisfaction in the simple things in life, meaningful relationships, personal growth, and the little pleasures that life offers. This understanding guides us to seek a more authentic and lasting happiness, one that does not depend on fluctuations in fortune or social status, but on our ability to find joy in what we already have. Humility emerges as an indispensable value in this discussion, reminding us that no matter how advanced or successful we become, there is always more to learn. True wisdom is not in accumulating knowledge or achieving extraordinary feats, but in recognizing our own finiteness and the infinite possibilities for growth. This stance not only keeps us rooted, but also opens us up to new experiences and learning, allowing us to evolve in a more harmonious and integrated way. Diversifying our aspirations is like insurance against disillusionment. Putting all our effort and desire into a single goal can be risky, as life, by its nature, is unpredictable and full of twists and turns. Instead, by cultivating multiple passions and interests, we increase our chances of satisfaction and success. This not only protects us against the impact of possible failures in a specific area, but also enriches our life experience, offering a wider range of possibilities for joy and fulfillment. Next, the practice of preparing to fail may seem counterintuitive, but it is actually a powerful strategy for personal progress. Viewing failure not as a setback, but as an integral part of the learning and growth process, frees us from the fear of making mistakes. This approach encourages us to take more risks, to try new ideas and paths with the confidence that even if things don't go as planned, there will be valuable lessons to be learned. Failure, therefore, transforms from a paralyzing fear into a springboard for innovation and personal empowerment. Furthermore, the idea that we should always remember death is not an invitation to pessimism, but a call to action. Knowing that our existence is finite can inspire us to live with more purpose and intensity. It's a reminder not to procrastinate on our dreams or delay expressing our love and gratitude to those who matter. This awareness motivates us to make more conscious choices, seeking a life that, when we look back, leaves us with the feeling of time well spent, full of meaning and true connections. In a world where excess and complexity often prevail, choosing a simple lifestyle can be revolutionary. Simplicity allows us to focus on what really matters, discarding the superfluous things that distract us and consume our energy. Living simply does not mean giving up all the comforts of modern life, but rather adopting a mindful attitude towards our choices and possessions. It helps us recognize the beauty in small things and more deeply appreciate the experiences and relationships that truly enrich our lives. Furthermore, the importance of maintaining control over our lives, refusing to let other people's opinions and attitudes affect us negatively, is crucial. We often give too much importance to what others think or say about us, allowing it to dictate our mood and actions. Recognizing that we are the sole owners of our reactions and emotions is a powerful step towards emotional freedom. When we understand that no one has the power to disturb us without our consent, we open space for a more serene and centered life. Friendship and true relationships stand out as invaluable riches on our journey. In the end, it is not material goods, but the bonds of friendship and love that offer us support and comfort in the most challenging moments. Investing time and energy into cultivating genuine, meaningful relationships is one of the most rewarding investments we can make. These connections not only enrich our life experience, but also provide us with a resilient support network in times of need. Finally, embracing the idea that we should derive benefits from all situations, regardless of their nature, empowers us to find value even in adversity. This perspective encourages us to seek learning and growth in each experience, transforming obstacles into opportunities. Adopting this attitude not only makes us more resilient, but also guides us to live more intentionally and fulfilling lives. 
We often spend a significant amount of our mental and emotional energy worrying about aspects of life over which we have no power. This includes the opinion of others, the results of our efforts that depend on external factors, or even unexpected twists of fate. Stoic wisdom teaches us to differentiate between what is and is not in our control, encouraging us to focus our attention and efforts on areas where we can effectively make a difference. By practicing this distinction, we can live more peacefully and effectively, focusing on our own action and reaction rather than getting lost in fruitless worries. Furthermore, the practice of cultivating internal values, rather than seeking external validation, emerges as essential for an authentic and satisfying life. In a world where success is often measured by material standards and social recognition, turning inward and valuing qualities like integrity, compassion, and resilience can be truly liberating. By developing and honoring our internal values, we build a solid foundation for our self-esteem and sense of purpose, regardless of the fluctuations in our external situation. The ability to adapt to changes and make the best of each situation is another crucial skill on this journey. Life is full of changes, some of which can challenge our expectations and plans. Viewing these changes not as obstacles, but as opportunities to learn and grow, allows us to navigate life with greater resilience and openness. This adaptability not only helps us overcome challenges, but also sees new possibilities that arise from unexpected circumstances. Finally, the practice of gratitude stands out as a powerful tool for enriching our life experience. Focusing on what we have, rather than lamenting what we lack, opens us to the abundance of the present. Gratitude helps us recognize the blessings that permeate our daily lives, from the relationships we value to the small joys and achievements. Cultivating an attitude of gratitude makes us more aware of the richness of our existence and inspires us to live each day with greater fullness and joy. In an increasingly fast-paced world full of distractions, learning to be truly present in the moments we experience can transform our life experience. The practice of mindfulness invites us to slow down, observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, and fully appreciate the now. This not only enriches our perception of the world around us, but also allows us to connect more deeply with ourselves and others, elevating our quality of life and well-being. In addition to mindfulness, the ability to express vulnerability emerges as a powerful vehicle for authenticity and human connection. We are often conditioned to hide our weaknesses and fears under the false pretense that vulnerability is synonymous with weakness. However, it is through the courage to be vulnerable that we find our truest strength. By sharing our struggles and uncertainties, we not only free ourselves from the weight of carrying them alone, but we also invite others to recognize themselves in our story, creating bonds of empathy and understanding. The practice of forgiveness is also essential on this journey. The act of forgiving, whether of ourselves or others, is a fundamental step in releasing the weight of past resentments and making space for peace and renewal. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting or justifying actions that hurt us, but rather choosing to release the associated emotional burden, allowing us to move forward with lightness and clarity. This practice not only benefits our emotional health, it also strengthens our resilience and ability to face new challenges with an open heart. Ultimately, recognizing the beauty and value in the process, not just the outcome, teaches us to appreciate each step of our journey. In a culture so focused on results and achievements, it is easy to lose sight of the growth and lessons that each experience offers us. By valuing the process as much as the destination, we cultivate patience, persistence, and a deeper appreciation for the present moment. This allows us to live more fully, finding satisfaction and joy not only in great achievements, but also in the small victories and learnings of everyday life. The ability to say, no, when necessary, without feeling guilt or anxiety, is fundamental to maintaining our well-being and self-respect. Often, out of fear of disappointing others or a need to be accepted, we can overcommit ourselves, neglecting our own needs and limits. Establishing and communicating our boundaries clearly and respectfully not only protects our energy and personal space, but also teaches others how to treat us, promoting healthier, more balanced relationships. Furthermore, the importance of cultivating resilience in the face of adversity is a topic that cannot be underestimated. Life will inevitably present us with challenges and setbacks. Developing resilience helps us navigate these difficult times with grace and determination, allowing us to emerge stronger and wiser. Resilience does not mean avoiding suffering or denying pain, but rather learning to adapt and finding paths to recovery, maintaining hope and positivity even in the face of difficulties. Cultivating a sense of purpose is also crucial to a full and meaningful life. Having clarity about what is truly important to us, our values and our passions, can guide us through choices and moments of uncertainty. 
A sense of purpose gives us direction and motivation, fueling our determination and inspiring us to overcome obstacles in pursuit of our goals and dreams. Finally, embracing change as a constant in our journey is essential for personal growth. Change can be uncomfortable and even scary, but it is also an opportunity to learn, evolve, and expand our horizons. Approaching change with curiosity and openness, rather than resistance, allows us to adapt and thrive in new environments and circumstances, enriching our life experience. As we delve deeply into who we are, we begin to uncover layers of our personality, beliefs, and behavior patterns that shape our life experience. This process of introspection is not just about identifying areas for improvement, but also about recognizing and valuing our unique qualities and achievements. Self-acceptance means fully embracing who we are, including our imperfections and limitations. This does not imply complacency or a lack of desire to grow, but rather a compassionate understanding that we are constantly evolving beings. True acceptance comes with releasing harsh judgment of ourselves, replacing internal criticism with an attitude of kindness and patience with our own growth process. Self-knowledge, in turn, allows us to navigate life with greater clarity and purpose. By understanding our core values, motivations, and passions, we can make decisions that are in harmony with our true selves. This not only increases our personal satisfaction, but also intensifies our contribution to the world around us, allowing us to live more meaningfully and impactfully. Furthermore, the journey of self-knowledge and self-acceptance has a profound impact on our interpersonal relationships. By understanding ourselves better, we can communicate our needs and limits more clearly, as well as offering empathy and understanding to others. This creates fertile ground for deeper, more authentic relationships, where vulnerability is seen not as weakness, but as courage. Techniques such as meditation, journaling, reflective writing, and therapy can be valuable tools in this process. Beginning to truly know yourself requires courage to face both our greatest strengths and our vulnerabilities. This process of introspection allows us to identify not only what makes us unique, but also to recognize and accept our limitations and areas for development. Self-acceptance is the first step to cultivating self-love and respect for yourself. It teaches us to be kind and compassionate towards ourselves, especially in times when we fail or don't meet expectations, whether our own or those of others. By accepting who we are, we create a safe space for growth and experimentation, paving the way for positive changes based on self-knowledge rather than destructive criticism or comparison with others. Self-knowledge, in turn, is a powerful tool for making conscious decisions that reflect our true values, desires, and needs. It empowers us to direct our lives more intentionally, choosing paths that lead to personal fulfillment and well-being. Understanding our emotional patterns, triggers and reactions also helps us better manage our responses to challenging situations, allowing us to act with more wisdom and balance. Furthermore, self-knowledge and self-acceptance are essential to developing healthier and more satisfying relationships. When we are at peace with who we are, we can present ourselves more authentically in our relationships, promoting deeper and more meaningful connections. This also makes us more resilient in the face of external opinions and judgments, as our self-esteem and value do not depend on other people's validation. Finally, it is important to remember that the journey of self-knowledge and self-acceptance is continuous and always evolving. It requires patience, persistence and, above all, a commitment to yourself to remain curious and open to the lessons that each new life experience brings. This path leads us not only to a greater understanding of ourselves, but also to a richer, more fully lived life. If you identified with our conversation about self-acceptance, self-knowledge, and are looking to further deep in your personal development journey, we have something special for you. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and share your own experiences in the comments of this video. How have you experienced the process of knowing and accepting yourself? What impact did this have on your life? Plus, we have an amazing resource that might be just what you're looking for to guide you deeper into this journey. Purpose Living is a guide that has been carefully prepared with insights and strategies to help you live a fuller, more intentional life. If you feel like something is missing, want to find greater clarity in your life, or simply seek inspiration to live more purposefully, this guide is for you. The link to access it is fixed in the first comment of this video. This material could be the step you need to unlock a new phase in your life, full of self-knowledge, growth and satisfaction. Don't miss the chance to transform your personal journey today. We look forward to reading about your experiences and reflections in the comments. Together, we can build a community of support and inspiration. I'll wait for you in the next video.